Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Shoutstone. Shout is here, and I am bringing you another Shoutcast from the Hearthstone beta. Once again, featuring our good buddy Trump as he heads into another arena match. Uh, this is not an arena time series, just a random match picked at random. Uh, he mostly does arena matches, so that's what I have. But anyway, let's get into the action right now. It is... Gul'dan versus Rexar. Trump playing the part of Gul'dan, the warlock, and Eld, or is it Eld or Eid? I'll have to, let, me, let me look at that a little closer. Here. Uh, no, I think that's Eld. Okay, E L D. Yeah, Eld. Eld playing the part of Rexar, the hunter. Ah, uh, anyway. So here we are. Another weekend done. Back to the grind. We saw Total Biscuit suffer his second loss of the arena yesterday. Which puts him one loss away from being done in the arena. And keep in mind, Trump will be taking the next season of arena time. Which will start once Total Biscuit's run is over. Whenever that comes. But in the meantime, let's talk about this game. So Trump's starting things off with a Blood Imp play. Blood Imps are a really strong component of a good Warlock deck. Because they're 1-1 minions. Constantly stealth, which means they can't be taken out unless by AoE. Uh, and they provide an extra point of health for all your minions. So. It's just worth it. Alright, so. Trump evaluating his decisions here. He decided against using Demon Fire to take out that Hyena. And instead going for uh, playing the uh, Novice Engineer. Which got him an extra card draw. Which is probably a smart move. It gets some consistent damage out there. And now he's going to start. Burned a quick point of health, taking down the Hyena. And plays that Imp Master, which is also another excellent addition to a Warlock deck. Because it just consistently produces minions. And in this case, they're all 1-2. Which is very nice. So an interesting choice here, the, uh, his opponent is going for a lot of uh, damage direct to the hero. And that, that's usually something you see a lot in newer players that completely ignore the vast amount of minions on the other side of the field. I mean, maybe he didn't want to sacrifice uh, the, you know, the little guy. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I, I still don't know. I, I mean... It's not going to get much life out of it. Yeah, it's going to get a boost from the death of that Iron Claw Grizzly. Unless a spell is used of some kind. He could use Demon Fire to take out that minion before it even has a chance. Or take out the uh, Hyena before it even has a chance to do anything. But may not be worth it. Uh, right now it's decision making time. He only has a single point of damage to go around on that Iron Fur Grizzly. So, oh, instead he's actually going to use Demon Fire, oh is he? Yeah, he's going to use that on the Imp, which is going to buff it up to 3-1, allow it to take out the Grizzly, and that will buff up the little guy, the Hyena, and that's enough, he's going to play that Flame Imp, which is very strong for what it's worth, but it does deal 2 damage to the Warlock Hero, so that's the other penalty you have to pay to play that minion. But right now it's very Imp crazy on Trump's side of the table. A little Imp Mania going on here. Um, looking at a Flame Imp, which is a very strong 3-2. He's got a 3-1 and a 1-2 Imp that have been produced by that Imp Master, which has died on its last Imp production due to the damage it took off of the Hyena. And still that Blood Imp. Alright, so throwing the uh, Stormwind Knight into that buffed up normal imp. And the Flame Imp finishes the job. He's going to drop that Summoning Portal and the Harvesting Golem. So, we're looking at some good minion production on Trump's side of the table. I think he's got this game pretty well in, in hand right now. And I know it looks like, oh, he's got less health. He must be at a disadvantage. Well, not really. You know, you're looking at a game where he's got a good grasp on... His, he's got tons of minions out there. He's got great buffs going around. He's managing his minions quite well. He's clearing his opponent's field very well, doing quick removal. Um, his opponent is playing... 
my guess, I, I think this is early in the run, and I think this particular opponent is a little newer to the game, and his strategy is not quite up the, to, to snuff. Um, and I don't mean that in any kind of insulting way, of course, it's just a lot of the play you're seeing is, is very, like, you know, beginnerish level type stuff. But it's, it's fine. You know, I mean, right now, he, he does have Trump in a position where he's got to evaluate some decisions. Uh, he's got to decide if it's worth sacrificing some things to take out that 3-3. Three, three. I mean, right now, removal is key before he starts to go direct to damaging the Hunter. And, uh... No, he's not going to do... It's actually going to freeze it, which is a good move there. So he uses that Frost Elemental to freeze that 3-3 three, three minion. When he is going to attack with the Blood Imp, so that's going to force it out of stealth. Uh, I think he's doing that at this point because it's not a key target. Um, for some players, it might be. Like, like personally, I would probably want to take out that Blood Imp if I had something within reason to take it out with. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to risk a huge attack on it. But, it's going to make taking everything else out a lot easier. Alright, so all the opponent can do is play that uh, Sinjin Shield Master, who will fall immediately. And will he do the trade here? He's still... Yeah, he is going to do the trade there. Um, I think he's looking at a good position now. He's going to play Sense Demons. Which is going to give him Lord Jaraxxus, Eridar Lord of the Burning Legion. And, uh... A. Infernal. Alright, so another Demon Fire on that Blood Imp. And huge damage being dealt, and here comes an Arathi Berserker. But with that buffed up health, we'll get a nice bit of damage if it can be, uh, sort of damaged a little. Uh, but his opponent is certainly in a dangerous position right now. You know, we're looking at uh, 17 damage now. He is still slightly ahead in health to his opponent. He does have the card advantage, but the minion advantage is severe. Alright, right now he's got that secret into play. Could very well be an explosive trap, which would do a good job at clearing most, uh, well... It would clear one thing if it's an explosive trap. So, uh, we'll have to see. Alright, he's going to sacrifice that imp, which is what the one thing would have been. That would have been cleared, and he's going to trigger it with that flame imp. Or that blood imp, and it is explosive trap. So damage all around, but nothing killed. So he did manage to actually get some use out of that uh, imp before losing it completely. Alright, so his opponent is pretty much on the back foot right now. He is, he is going to play Jaraxxus, which will buff him back up to 15 HP. So here he is. You face Jaraxxus now, Eridar Lord of the Burning Legion. And that is looking like game, folks. He's going to do a swift attack in for another 3 points of damage. There it is. And Blade Master. So, time was running out, but. <laughs> mistake! Not really. I think he just likes yelling mistake. But. Trump killing time. And he's just going to concede. A wise decision. Really no way to handle the amount of damage coming his way. Uh, that was GG at that point anyway. So congratulations all around. Trump takes this game in convincing fashion. Uh, pretty thoroughly dismantles his opponent there. Was never really in any sort of danger. Um, so I think that went about as well as it possibly could have gone. But there you have it. That is going to do it for this episode of Shoutstone. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Arena Time. Uh, don't forget, later today will be the next episode in our series of uh, starter deck previews. And I think we're actually going to be doing Warlock today, so don't forget that. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Subscribe for daily updates. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, favorite if you want. Uh, and also uh, find me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description, so thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.